Well, you don't have to travel far this summer to see your favorite performers. Absolutely not. From Donny Osmond to Britney Spears, there is something for everyone. Here to fill us in on the hottest shows is Jim Bozzi, the Vice President of Marketing for Live Nation. Welcome back to the show. It's great Hi, to Jim. have you here. So great to be here. Thanks for having me. So we're so excited about hearing this rundown. There's tons of concerts this summer you're going to want to check out. Tons of concerts, a bunch of A-listers. I mean, a really great mix of, of the, the hottest artists in the country right now coming through Connecticut. Yep. Speaking of A-listers, coming up July. July 3rd, Sade in concert with John Legend at yeah. Mohegan Sun Arena? First time in 10 years. I mean, she doesn't tour a lot. So if, you, if you're really a fan of Sade, this would be the time to see her. And, you know, you put John Legend on the bill, that's a one and one makes three, you know, right? Because you've got two R&B great artists doing smooth jazz, R&B classics. What a great night. July 3rd, Mohegan Sun Arena. You can't get a better night. How did this all come about? Did these, these two artists just start talking to each other? Like, I think, hey, let's work together? Well, you know, sometimes they really appreciate each other's talent and style and music and I think it's a great you know sometimes uh, a lot of uh, Sade will say I'm gonna go on the road and who can who can open for me and John Legend's just a perfect fit you know that sort of thing so it, it just it just makes sense and it's such a great night of entertainment and this is pretty exciting because we're giving away tickets to the show all you have to do is go to ConnecticutStyle.tv for a chance to win but Joss I don't I don't think you and I are no I <laughs> wish we could though but all you really have to do is to sign up for this right yeah yeah I'm gonna do it after the show oh this is great <laughs> I'm I don't I'm think kidding. so no, Jim. I'm not allowed <laughs> either. either I'm not allowed either no no, no. Uh, all right, up next we have Kid Rock and Sheryl Crow. Another kind of unique combination. Kind of a unique combination because he's had a crazy rock and roll career, you know, and uh, she's done a lot of like mo more of the adult contemporary. But you put them together and they've had some hits on their own. They have. Yeah. You know, they have a current hit called Collide. So he's a crazy man, but a lot of energy. And she, we've had her at the, uh, the Oakdale a bunch of times. And uh, she's a great, great, great artist, a good, good songwriter. So it's going to be a, a really nice mix of music. July 7th at the Comcast Theater. Yeah, in these guys are really what you call a crossover artists because they do a little bit of country a little bit of rock and, and you know they the, mix it up together and they've, and they've had success in both genres now and a lot of people are doing that i mean you've seen jason aldean has a big hit with kelly clarkson that's being played on pop radio and, and shania twain did it years ago in tim mcgraw you know they've all had this crossover success now because country is not just your mother's country music when they used to call it country western which uh -huh. is such an out of you know a term they don't use anymore country music is like the new pop music I mean, it's just that big. Well, it appeals to everybody. It appeals to everybody. I love it myself personally, and uh, it's it's just really great lyrics. You know, people always talk about the lyrics. Music is great, and the performers are probably the nicest ones on the road. Well, speaking of pop, I'm looking forward to this one myself. Britney Spears and Nicki Minaj, August 9th at the XL Center. You know, we just announced it like last week, and our phone, I mean, the internet is like blazing with all of this because we haven't had Britney now. She was at the Mohegan Sun Arena, I think, two years ago with her circus tour. Now she's promoting Femme Fatale, the new album, which has a ton of hits on it, which I know was on your iPod, <laughs> yeah, along with mine. But is. no, she, I'm really excited. August 9th, uh, the show goes on sale Monday, June 27th. 10 a.m. I already have my calendar okay, set. Got... She's a big fan. You, you I am. My sister many, and I are yeah. so excited to go. How many tickets are you looking for? Two? Yeah, just the two of us. Okay. <laughs> Do we know anybody? Who she's can an help iconic. You? you know, I mean, she's, <laughs> she, she means so much to so many people. Oh, and yes. She's had such a checkered <laughs> career here and there. But she, I think she's uh, she's she's on her game now. She's so entertaining. entertaining. She's somebody you want to root for, though. You do, you know, we and really uh, you know, do. as America, we love to do that. You know, we get our stars, we, you know, we, we, we build them up, we yeah. build, them, she falls up, we put her right back down again. And I think she's uh, this new album. I, I think is fantastic. Well, the I'm costumes are always great. The choreography is great. Choreography is great. She never show. looked better. And Nicki Minaj, I'm really looking forward to seeing well, her. She's grown up too because you know she's so, so much yep, more mature with two kids. Yep. And so yes, and Nicki, hottest. Uh, you know, right now, she's always on the radio. Yeah, she's on the radio like crazy. She's kind of crazy a little bit, like like visually, like Gaga. Yes, I guess the you pink can say. hair and the crazy wigs. Right. Sure. So, uh, you know, put Brittany, another one on one makes three. You put Nicki Minaj with Britney Spears. Who who isn't going to be there? I wonder if they'll perform together. You, know? you never know. I right? don't think so. Probably not. I don't think okay. those two uh, divas will <laughs> no, be sharing of, the stage anytime okay. soon. Do any of the stars we're talking about here, you know, when they're because they're t they are teaming up, are, are like Sade and John? Are they going to perform together? Yeah, duet. Well, Kid, well, obviously, Kid Rock and Cheryl will. Because yeah, they Kid have Rock and Cheryl Crow here. will. I don't believe Sade and John Legend do, but okay. uh, that does happen. Uh, from time to time, and, and normally with like a Cheryl Crow, you'll always see that because she's such a she was a musician before she yes. became a headliner. You know, I went to school with her. Did you? Get really? out of here. University of Missouri, Columbia. <laughs> she, yes, she's a Missouri. Wow. Right. She's a she's a great girl. I love That's her. So she cool. comes from a wonderful town. 
Wow. Yes. Wow. Yeah. Yes. yeah. I'm She's impressed, Johnson. Very nice girl. <laughs> I'm impressed. I, was, I knew that's her well in college. That's cool. After that, we didn't keep in touch. But anyway. <laughs> All right. And then August 24th, Donny Osmond at the Oakdale. Donny Osmond. You know, it gets so bloody hot in Vegas at the end of August. So his sister and, and himself, they're doing these one-offs, we call them in the business, where he's just getting out of Dodge, getting out of Vegas for a week, okay. doing a string of dates, six or seven, not, not a huge tour. And it's going to be a multimedia event where he's going to have videos of his entire career. I mean, the guy has been around for 40 plus years from the Andy Williams shows to the teen idol days of Tiger Beat and all that stuff yes. to the Donnie Marie show in the 70s that I watched. You know, I mean, it was, he's had such a long career and one of the nicest guys in the business. So we're really excited to have him. Um, it, the show's called Basically Yours. It's an intimate evening, three musicians, him, and just this multimedia presentation. And I think when you're of our age group, whatever, and you're gonna see him on those old, you know, those old tapes of the Donnie Marie show, how could you not, you know, I mean, you, we've known this guy forever. He's so, so talented, he really very is. Very talented guy, been on Broadway, he's done the Broadway shows, he's written a book. I mean, he's just, I mean, what hasn't he done, you know? And it's just a, a all around true entertainer, I think, in the old school sense. All right, we have to talk about Toby Keith. Toby September Keith. September 16th at Comcast. Uh, yeah, that'll be the last show at the Comcast Theater. I can't believe it's uh, June and we're already talking about September, but his tickets go on sale this Friday, along with Donnie Osmond, by the way. Those, oh, okay. those tickets go on sale this Friday. Toby Keith with Eric Church, uh, who's an uh, up-and-coming big country guy, but Toby Keith, 19 number one songs. Billboard magazine declared him the, the biggest country artist of the decade, of, of the last decade. So, you know, he always comes in every year, uh, just tears the house down. One of the best Good country show, artists right? you've ever seen. Well, all these shows are going to be fantastic. I'm excited. <laughs> okay. For information on any of the shows we, we just mentioned today, you've got to go to LiveNation.com or uh, you can charge by phone at this number, 1-800-745-3000. All right, Jim, we're out of time. Thank you so much for coming in Girl. here and letting us know what's going on. Great to be here. Thanks, ladies.